Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of quadratic equation. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us, let a comma b belong to real numbers r such that the equation ax square minus 2bx plus 15 is equal to 0 has a repeated root alpha. So basically this quadratic equation entirely has one repeated root that is alpha and further it is told to me that alpha and beta are the roots of other quadratic that is x square minus 2bx plus 21 is equal to 0. So we have been asked after that what is the value of alpha square plus beta square. So we need to figure out what is the value of alpha square plus beta square. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us, it is 37, 58, 68, and the last option, 92. So we have these four options that are given to us. Let's figure out the value of this for alpha square plus beta square. Now, first of all, if I write the first quadratic equation, which is given to us, it's ax square minus 2bx plus 15 is equal to 0. And we have been told that it has only one solution, means this same solution is repeated two times. So it is a repeated root. And we know already the idea that whenever it is a repeated root, we have our value of the discriminant that is b square minus 4ac equated with 0. So when you have b square minus 4ac equal to 0, you get two real and equal roots with that. So if I first of all compare my given quadratic, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. I get a is small a, capital B is minus 2b, and capital C is 50. So if I do that equation, b square minus 4ac equal to 0, I get minus 2b the whole square, minus 4a, c is 15 is equal to 0. From this, I get 4b square is equal to 4a into 15. 4 and 4 I can cancel throughout. I get b square as 15a. And from here I get a is nothing but b square by 15. So I have the value of a as b square by 15. Once I have a as b square by 15, if I put that in my first equation, and I also not know that alpha is a root of this quadratic equation. So instead of x, if we put alpha, because it is the root of this equation and a we already know it is b square by 15. So if we substitute that in the given quadratic x square ax square minus 2 bx plus 15 is equal to 0. Let's see what I get. So a is b square by 15. Then you have x square x is nothing but alpha square minus you have 2 bx. So minus 2 b alpha plus 15 is equal to 0. So if I solve this further, what I get, let's see. So I get alpha into b, the whole square, over 15, minus 2 alpha b plus 15 is equal to 0. So from this, I get alpha b, the whole square, minus this becomes 30 alpha b plus 15 square is equal to 0. So if I see this, actually what I get here is now, a perfect square that is of the form a square minus 2ab plus b square is equal to 0. So if I try to see if I have this 2ab in the middle, it should be 2. a in this case is alpha b and b in this case is 15. So it should be 2 into alpha b into 15. So yeah, that comes out to become 30 alpha b. So I can write this in the form of perfect square as alpha b minus this is 15, the whole square is equal to 0. So from there, I get alpha into b is equal to 15. Or I can write that as alpha as 15 over b. So once I get this relation also, I'll mark this as 2. And the previous relation of a and b square, that is 1. So now I have my other quadratic given, and that is x square minus 2bx plus 21 is equal to 0. And they have also told us alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic equation. So for that, if I want to find the value of b, 
instead of x i can also put that as alpha because this is also having a solution as alpha so it becomes alpha square minus 2b alpha plus 21 is equal to 0 now we already know value of alpha in terms of b that is 15 over b so if i put this 15 over b the whole square minus 2 alpha okay again instead of alpha i can write that as 15 over b into b plus 21 is equal to c so basically this b and b gets cancelled and you are left with 15 over b the whole square so 225 over b square minus 30 plus 21 so minus 9 is equal to 0 further if i solve it 225 over b square is 9 so b square becomes 225 over 9 and with that if i take the square root of that b becomes 15 over 3 or i can write that as 5 so i get the value of b here as 5 now once i get the value of b here as 5 i get my quadratic equation turned out to become x square minus 2 bx plus 21 is equal to 0 so it becomes x square minus 2b is 2 into 10 x plus 21 is equal to 0 and we have been given alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic we have been asked to find the value of alpha square plus beta square so first we know alpha square plus beta square i can write that as alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta so if i find the value of alpha plus beta that is sum of the roots that is given by minus b over a so minus of minus 10 because b is minus 10 if i'm comparing it with my general form of quadratic and a in this case is nothing but one so you get 10 as alpha plus beta alpha into beta is c over a that is 21 over 1 so you get that as 21 so you have alpha plus beta you also have alpha into beta now once you have both of them alpha square plus beta square becomes 10 square minus 2 times 21 so that is 100 minus 42 and if i see 100 minus 42 that comes out to become 58 so you get the answer for the question that is 58 and if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question it is option b so b becomes the correct answer for the question given to us i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions so first what we did was we equated b square minus 4ac with 0 because this quadratic equation has a repeated root that is equal root so with that relation i got a relation for a and b once i got the relation for a and b i substituted a as b square by 15 in this quadratic and since this has a root alpha i put x as alpha everywhere so i got the other relation for alpha and b and that comes out to become 15. so once i get alpha and b's relation alpha is 15 over b i also know that the other quadratic also has a root alpha so i put x as alpha again and we use the relation of alpha and b so i write alpha as 15 over b and that gives me the value of b that is 5. once i get the value of b as 5 i put here 5 i get my new quadratic x square minus 10x plus 21 then i just had to find alpha square plus beta square using this formula so i found alpha plus beta and alpha into beta that is sum of the roots and product of the roots once I got that, I found alpha square plus beta square that turns out to become 58 and it matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th, 12th as well as JWE mains. So if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, Please do like the video. Also share those videos with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel. See you again in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.